So it's that time of the year again where we take lots of pictures and make lots of videos, you know, trying to like record the best moment of the year. And it's always beautiful. But you know what's not beautiful? When you're trying to move those memories from one phone to another. Like say you just get a new iPhone and you're trying to move those information from your Android phone to your iPhone. Usually the conventional ways are usually messy, they are slow, sometimes it has to take overnight and even when you wake up you discover that the process didn't really go through, it can be that frustrating. Now as a tech reviewer, that is something I have to go through way more often than an average user because I'm always switching from one smartphone to another. So what I did was to actually look for a third party solution that is specifically designed to take care of that problem. And for a while now, I have been using it. It is 100% successful. It is very simple to use. And I just thought to make a video to show you guys how I usually move all of my information, especially my WhatsApp data from one phone to another. Now, the name of the app I use is called Mobile Trans by Wondershare. And in this video, I will show you step by step how I do it. So you can just do that whenever you want to move your WhatsApp data or any other data from an Android phone to an iPhone. Now, I did forget to mention that you definitely need original cables if you want to go through this process because that's how I'm going to be connecting the smartphones to either your laptop, your MacBook, or in my own case, my M4 Mac Mini. So I want to move from, like I said, my Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra to my iPhone 17 Pro. And as you can see, I'm just going to, I have my WhatsApp here already and I want to move it to this place, moment. Yeah, where there is no WhatsApp as you can see right now. Now, as you can see, I have the app on my desktop. So I'm just gonna click on it to toggle it on. Good. Now you can see that the app actually comes with a very simple interface. Like you can see, Wondershare, Mobile Trans. We have app transfer, phone transfer, backup and restore, WhatsApp recovery, and more. Now, if you click on the drop down for app transfer, you're going to see WhatsApp and WhatsApp business. And of course, other applications like Line and then um, Kirk and Viber for those who use those apps. And then we also have phone transfer, in which case we have phone to phone when you want to move all your information from one smartphone to the other. And of course, phone to PC, if you want to back up your smartphone to your PC. But we are more interested in WhatsApp in this video. So I'm going to go back to app transfer and click on WhatsApp. Now you're going to see that there are two smartphones here and they are labeled source and destination. So, so obviously is where the WhatsApp is currently and destination is where we're trying to send it to. Now for you to fully get them, that's where you actually need these cables. So I'm going to connect the two cables now to the phones. And then of course connect the other end of the cables to my M4 Mac Mini like this. Now with it being connected, of course, if this is the first time you're connecting your iPhone to your Mac Mini, it's going to give you this prompt trust this computer of course you want to just of course you want to just click on trust and then you're going to enter your code good now you see that the iphone has connected we have success for the iphone but the samsung we still don't have it and that is because it is not seeing it yet there is something that we actually need to do so now if i click on retry this box comes up which gives me a tutorial on how i can turn on usb debugging now, if you don't know what it means, it's very simple. It's just a settings in your Samsung phone that lets you perform some functions using the USB cable connected to your Samsung phone. It's turned off by default. And for you to turn it on, like it says, first thing you need to do is just to go to settings on your Samsung phone, which is what I'm going to do. Just go to settings, then scroll down. You're going to see about phone, then just tap on it. Now, once you tap on it, scroll a bit, you're going to see software information. Now, once you tap on software information, you're going to see a build number. Now, on the build number, you're going to tap seven times. Don't worry, it doesn't do much. Just keep tapping seven times, and then I'm going to enter my pattern. And as you can see, it says, allow development settings. Now, I'm going to click on OK. And once I do that, you can see development, developer mode has been enabled. Now, if I go back a bit to settings and scroll down, I will now see 
developer option. So I'm just going to tap on it and look for USB debugging. And that is it right there. So once I turn on USB debugging, allow it, I tap on OK. It's now connected and this prompt obviously comes off immediately on the app. And as you can see, success, it's now connected. So my Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra is now connected. So both phones are seen by the app. Now over here, you're going to see all the information I want to move. Of course, I have my messages, group SMS, start messages, call logs, everything. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is to click on start. It's very fine. Good. And then this prompt comes up. Follow this instruction to turn on end-to-end -end encryption on your Android device. So what I want to do now is to go to WhatsApp on my Android phone. I'm going to click on this three buttons right here. Then I'm going to go to settings, look for chat and tap on it. Now scroll down a bit. You're going to see chat backup. Now you want to tap on chat backup. After which, if you scroll down a bit, you're going to see end to end encrypted backup. Currently it is turned off. So what you need to do is to tap on it. It's asking you to use a pass key but I'm not going to use a pass key instead. I would advise that you tap on more options. Now, once you tap on more options, you're going to see 64 digit encryption key. Just make sure you tap on it. Then tap on generate your 64 encryption key. Now, once you get to this point, you want to make sure you don't do anything else because it says stay on this key page. When the key is generated, then click on scan. So since we are on that page, I'm going to click on scan. Good. Now, once that is done, as you have finished scanning, you can then click on continue, click on I saved my 64 gig key, then click on create. And of course, it's going to start backing up. I always back up every day, 2 p.m. every time. So I don't think this should take so much. Good. So now we're getting the prompt to log into WhatsApp on the target phone, which is obviously this iPhone. So I'm just going to open WhatsApp here, tap on this, continue. Good. Now, as you can see, there isn't so much here right now. So I'm going to click on login successful. Now, here is a prompt for me to turn off, find mine on my iPhone. And for you to do that is simple. Just go to settings on your iPhone, which is here. Tap on your name. Then of course you're going to see find mine. Just open it, then make sure it is turned on here. As you can see, I'm going to toggle it off. Continue. And it's going to ask me to enter my Apple ID password. And yeah, it is turned off. I'm now going to go back to the software and click on retry. Good. So you can see on the iPhone restore in progress. Good. So it is hundred percent. iPhone is restarting. Good. And it's fully back up now. Yep. So let's see how long I will be recording. It's 34 minutes. Good. So. As you can see, the whole process took about 34 minutes. Now let's see if it was successful. It crashed, but let's see. Good. Now this worked really fine, man. You can see everything is here. All my charts. This is basically everything. Stickers, let me see. Yeah, WhatsApp stickers, images. Um, let's see. Yeah, really nice. Now, one of the reasons why I love using this method is the fact that I didn't have to format or factory reset my iPhone before doing this transfer, which is what move to iOS or other options available would have wanted me to, which I really don't like. Also, I have to mention that this service is not free, but the fact that it is really effective, 99.9% .9 always successful, 
I mean, the small price you get to pay for this is definitely worth the headache that you would not experience. And also with the current Black Friday deals going on with up to 60% discount, I will be leaving links below in the description of this video that you can just click on it to get that massive discount. And as always, leave your comments below so we get to chat more. Thanks so much for watching. I get to catch you in my next video.